Wait, little kitty. Please put on the oxygen mask. Holding your breath for too long can be very, very dangerous. Let me explain that by answering a breathless question. What if you hold your breath for too long? Zoom in! I know it's exciting to see how long you can go without taking a breath as you compete with your friends. But if you decide to break records without any practice, then hold on my friends, such an act can land the person in a hospital bed. Why? Well, before we talk about what happens when you hold your breath, let's understand why we breathe in the first place. You see, when we breathe through our mouth and nose, we bring in a gas called oxygen into our lungs. This oxygen is then transferred into the bloodstream, which carries it to all the cells in our body to produce energy. This energy is what enables us to do all the things we love, like running, playing and thinking. Another vital aspect of breathing is that when we exhale, we release another gas called carbon dioxide, which is a waste product from the energy-making process. So in short, we breathe to stay alive. And unfortunately, our body undertakes this process automatically. But when someone tries to interrupt this natural process, things start to go downhill. Yes, within 30 seconds, your heart rate starts to slow down as it thinks you have an ample level of oxygen stored in your body. But as you continue to hold your breath, this stored oxygen gradually starts to decrease. To maintain the balance, your blood vessels narrow down, resulting in increased blood pressure because the same amount of blood is being pushed through a smaller space. The narrowing of blood vessels is a way to maintain and prioritize the delivery of oxygen to essential organs like the brain and heart while your breath is held. However, as the body consumes the remaining oxygen, you may start to feel dizzy. After some time, as the CO2 won't have any way to go, it will start to accumulate and will eventually reach your brain. Your brain notices this change and increases your body's desire to inhale and exhale. So, if you don't breathe even at this point, your brain might not work as well and you might start to feel confused or forget things. As the oxygen level decreases even further, things can take a turn for the worse, leading to a condition called hypoxia, which may result in a loss of consciousness. Yes, there was a case involving a guy named Nathan Shank, who held his breath for too long underwater and fell into a coma. Fortunately, he did wake up after two weeks but he faced multiple complications. He had to relearn everything from scratch, including basic skills like walking, tying shoelaces and speaking fluently. So, in conclusion, the next time you play the breath-holding game, remember to stay safe, listen to your body and don't hold your breath for too long. After all, as they say, just breathe to stay safe and have fun. Trivia time! Did you know the average human can hold their breath for between 30 to 90 seconds before needing to take a breath? Also, when at rest, adults breathe 14 to 16 times per minute. To know more about it, please check our videos on the same. It's sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Yashashwini. Hope you learned something refreshing today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out.
So, Kitty, ready with your oxygen tank? Never mind. <laughs>